How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing part 2 of 7 Days to Die. I don't know why I'm doing the silly accent because I found a cowboy hat, but I thank you for tuning in today. And let's get into this. I'm your host of the most, Dairy Dancer, the Double Ds. And today I'm going to yeehaw all over some zombies. <laughs> let's get into this. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Alright, where we left off, we had just... I think it's almost morning. Nope, still nighttime. But where we left off, I also tweaked a bunch of settings, so hopefully this one's a lot less laggy than last time. I had that motion blur on, and that was making it look really rough. My computer was struggling rendering all that, so I apologize for the quality of last video. Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, I think as soon as the trader is open, we should go visit him and try to sell some stuff. Uh, where's my wood at? I think um, we should try to make ourselves a... We have a baseball bat, so I'm not worried about a club. Let's see. What's a fish stick? A fish stick. Uh, wooden club, wood log spikes. Ooh, maybe we should make some traps today for our outside of our base. Can we make like... 20 of these for 400 wood? Oh, yeah, we can even make enough of these to surround our house. Are you kidding me? Let's go ahead and just make 40 of those. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for tools and stuff? I thought, like, can I make a shovel? What do I need to make a claw hammer? Ooh. Do we have leather? Did we find leather? I don't think we killed any animals. Uh, we did not. So that'll be nice. We can try to get a claw hammer. Today, maybe we can extend our base. We do have the forged iron and forged steel if we need to do anything with those. Oh, how are we looking on food? We should eat. Ooh, I guess I'll... Food is 15. I'm at 65. Dysentery, 12%. Uh, let's risk it for the biscuit. Um, oh, that's right. I wanted to see... How do we make bandages? Is there... Science? and bandage you need cloth fragments how do i make cloth fragments i need cotton okay well i do have a couple of cloth fragments so we can make some bandages how many does that get me four that gets me four bandages and i think we still have a couple or did we use them all up last episode this is everything I own? I don't s Yeah, we must have used up all of our bandages. Bummer. Oh. As soon as it's daytime, we'll go ahead and put those out. Oh, that's right. We have to use repair kits to fix our guns when they run out of durability. Oh, and my pump shotgun is pretty much getting out of durability. That's rough. Alright, I think that's really all we get. Oh, and I hear... Is that the sound of morning? That kind of sounds like the sound of morning. <laughs> There's a barrel. Copper wire. Heck yeah. That stuff sold so nicely. Actually, I think we have a bunch in this chest I just saw. Heck yeah. That stuff sells so well. And we'll sell this polymer while we're over there. I don't think we need that stuff for anything yet. Um, I wonder if the trader is open 24-7 in this mod. I always get this mod mixed up with another overhaul mod that I've been playing, and, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just naturally leaning, every time I see myself, leaning into that southern accent. <laughs> um, I don't really know if we have the mod on where, oh, the trader is open 24-7. I jumped all weird because I was crouching, I think. Uh, copper wire? Nope, but gunpowder. Let's sleep, leap, and... Oh, we get some leather real quick. Oh, I think we can get some leather real quick. Did that get any zombies' attention? Let's just... Let's just skin them real quick. Oh, yeah, look at that leather. I forgot what we needed leather for already. Um, maybe we can find some cotton plants. Oh, yeah, right here. This is cotton. This cotton. We use these to make that 
uh, cloth fragments, so that'll help us make more bandages, some more of this cotton that we can get. Kind of surprised there's no zombies around here. I'm pretty sure he's open 24-7 because he's in this, like, sinkhole. There's no, like, gate that closes every night. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies coming. Oh, jeez. Yep, we're just gonna get on down in here to safety. Sup, Joel? I noticed the other day reviewing the video that there's stuff in here to loot. Ooh, what do we got here? Maintenance. Learn how to clean and maintain your bow. Bows to grade 20. Oh, nice. We should definitely make a bow. Uh, and that one's empty. Bummer. And there's nothing on there. Is there anything else that we missed? The heck? Hey, man. Lady. Oh, nice. One shot at her. <laughs> Uh, we got some coffee beans, and there are, ooh, okay, so, large beef rations are only $60, can of cat food, gives us, oh, nice, so that's actually a pretty, alright, who's knocking on my door again? Hey, Twitchy McGee. Nice. <laughs> alright, Joel, what you offering today? Uh, may I see your inventory? Got some stuff to sell. How much will you buy my $7 for? $9? Heck yeah. Uh, 30... That's 266. Polymer. Oh, and we have meat from killing that that we can cook up. I don't really know... I've only ever played in peaceful mode, uh, so I don't know how to, like, survive naturally, so we're figuring this out together as we go. Oh, jeez. There's a couple of peeps down here. Oh, you alive? I think we're okay. Oh, jeez! That scared the crap out of me! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We'll just leave that door closed for a little while. <laughs> Alright, Joel. What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? What do you got for tools? Ooh, we can get an ant. Oh, we cannot get an anvil. Unless we sell our brass. How much are you buying brass for, my guy? $12? That should do. Empty can? $1? We don't really need an anvil because we don't have a forge or anything. Um, and I don't think I want an... Oh, should we buy two lockpicks and gamble to open up that safe? No. We shouldn't do that. How much does this stuff sell for? Not worth it. I'd rather put that around my house. What do you got for weapons? A steel spear, a stun baton. Ooh, that might be worth it. Otherwise, ooh, do we get some ammo? We should get some rifle ammo because we got that thing. So why don't I get like, I don't know. Yikes. Ten bullets for that. Um, ooh, a hunting knife. Ah, oh, shoot, we just spent all of our money. That hunting knife might come in handy. Uh... I don't know. Maybe we'll just hold out on spending any more money. We do have our baseball bat that we need to start using a lot more. Any more swimmers? That was so creepy. It's still so nighttime. I thought we got the ring-a-ding-ding -ding that it was morning. Maybe I'll put my flashlight on. There we go. Oh, it is pretty much morning. And uh, oh, geez, there's a bunch of zombobs over there. <laughs> Here's some cotton. Almost out of stamina. Oh, that's a big zombie. Holy crap. Uh, this tubby guy is hoofing it towards me. Is this a door I can open? It is not. Um, we should try to explore this house real quick. This is also not a door. Where the heck is the door? <gasps> copper? Yes. I think copper's going to be our main money maker for a little while. Oh, and we need to get all the cotton that we see. Actually, we should just pick all the plants that we see. I don't know what anything does. So might as well just stockpile it all. 
All right, I really expected that zombie to come whipping around here. I see a door. Actually, you know what? Let's go do our rally point. No use wasting our... Uh, where's our bandages at? No use waste... Oh, actually, let, okay. Sorry, I'm all over the place. There's so much to do in this game. Uh, before I forget, we'll real quick drop these around our perimeter. Just so that any zombies that try to come our way can get stuck up on this and they'll like make noise and we can come out and bash them or something. Uh, we'll put you there. I should probably pay attention to my surroundings. Don't want to get crept up on by a zombob. This game's so much fun. I freaking love this game. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I know the first episode was super kind of rough to watch with the motion blur and everything on making it. Uh, look super laggy and it was pretty intense on my computer and I wasn't paying attention so I'm sorry for that. I didn't make enough of these so this side of our base is not very protected. Oh and that did nothing so we'll make a few more of those later but I think we should probably drop our loot off and then go do this mission. Or cook that food up later. I don't know how to get water either. We'll have to keep a... I should do some research on this. I only got into this for the building originally and then uh, I turned off like zombies and stuff and just played like super relaxing in bed mode. I think I can loot... no I can't. But I think these give me a lot of wood if I hit them. I have to repair my tool. And I don't have the stuff to do that. Alrighty. Hopefully we don't have to break down anything while we're raiding. Alright. Looks like all we really have to do is retrieve some supplies. So all we should have to do is kind of look at our waypoint thing. See what direction we're running to get this supply crate. And then hopefully we can avoid as much conflict as possible. Uh, let's see. We are 37 meters away. And it looks like it is in this church. Which, once you know it, <laughs> does not have a door. And I did not repair my stupid axe. Oh, I used up all my stamina already. Oh, yeah. If we use the bat, we make less sound. So I think uh, that'll be huge. Oh, I should have brought some blocks or something to fix up my stuff. What's in here? Oh, dude, it's right there! This was the easiest quest of all time. <laughs> we killed one Steve, and that's all we had to do. Let's just blow this joint, go get our reward, and then we can do some, like, repairing of our tools and stuff. Is this another barrel I didn't check? No, I did check that barrel. Actually, on our way back, we can check in here real quick. <gasps> Close the door. There's a fire zombie, uh... Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that was good damage. And done, so... I cannot use... I was kind of hoping maybe I could come in here and use something to cook that meat. I'm sure there's like a campfire or something we can make. Um, super nervous. Oh, I see ammo! <gasps> that was me. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah. Five shotgun shells. I'll take that. Oh, heck yeah. A lot of copper. Uh, this looks like it would be locked. Yeah. I think that just goes outside. Oh, yeah. This is uh, that. We were going to try to come in this door. Hey, what's up, Marlene? Nice. Heck yeah. Copper, man. I'm telling you. That's where it's at. Um... Can I just crawl under this? I cannot. Dang it. We really should have repaired our tools. Oh well. We can come back and try to break down some of these doors. This might not be a bad place to move to at some point. Uh, can I loot this cash register? I cannot. Okay. But that might not be a bad place to move at some point if this gets overrun, which it most likely will. 
Um, we're looking good on food and water. I should probably stop sprinting everywhere. Oh, heck yeah. Copper? Yeah, buddy. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. <gasps> Another barrel. Have I looted this one yet? Yes. What's in here? Okay. They haven't noticed me yet, so let's go ahead and pop our lean. Boom. Dead. And then... We should be able to just not close that door on him. Oh, Tom Clark. What is that? Body loot? Oh, heck yeah. More ammo, baby. Oh, dude. A weapon bag? Uh, what is this? Polymer string? Oh, that goes uh, crossbow parts. Uh, some ammo. Heck yeah. Oh, what is this? A skirt. I mean, we need all the clothing we can get right now. Oh, we should look at what clothing we can craft. Uh, wooden desk we'll check. Heck yeah, boots. Nice. Oh, I thought I heard a zombie crawl. Uh, okay. Looking good. Oh, actually, while we're doing stuff, let's do some skills. So, uh, let's do fortitude. There's something to help us with stamina. Yes, hiker. And, oh, do I have to level this up too? You feel a little better than you used to. Deal 210% headshot damage and have a 10% chance to dismember with fists and machine guns. For the brawler. Uh, how many? I only have those, so let's see what else we got. Skull Crusher. Does you are a bruiser with little luck can knock down gener or geriatic zombies? I don't know what those are. Uh, craft quality two poor sledgehammers and deal 10% more damage with sledgehammers only? Oh, but then I can crush iron sledgehammers. Ooh, and we have some iron. Uh, heck yeah, let's do that. I think sexual, we can't do anything with that. Uh, this can help us craft iron armor. I'd rather go pack meal. I cannot go pack meal. Let's do that. And does that give me another pack meal? It does. Heck yeah. Okay, so that's all of our points. Um, there's a barrel. Get that copper. Oh, we gotta check those toilets. We gotta check those toilets in case there's a toilet pistol. I would love a toilet pistol right now. Nope, just some paper to wipe your booty hole. Wipe your booty hole with. How y'all doing today? I'm pretty sure we have to do something with that murky water in order to... Did I check the ammo? I did. I did not. That would have been embarrassing. But I didn't get anything good anyways. Alright. Let's go turn in this quest and see... <gasps> Lots of barrels. Is this going to be the jackpot of copper? Oh, 15! How much? How much? 14? Oh, this is going to be a payday, son. This is going to be a payday, son. I always feel like jumping down and landing in the water, but we learned the hard way that that is not something that we can do. Um, I forgot I had a fire axe. I could have been breaking stuff down this entire time. Dang it. <laughs> Why do I even have the stone axe yet? I got Here is your reward. Pipe bombs, definitely will take those. Uh, can I sell you my spoils, sir? How much will you buy 90 copper for? 630? Heck yeah. Dang. We are so rich. Uh, let's see. What do you have in your secret stash? We can, oh, definitely want to get some padded leg armor. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we can get a wrench. That's going to be huge for making money. Are you kidding me? Heck yes. Uh, what else you got? I've got $600 left. Ooh, you got some cheap ammo here. How much you sell those for? Uh, let's see. $30? Let's buy another 10 of those. That thing did some damage. Heck yeah. Let's see. 
All right, I think that's all we can do for now. Actually, let's see what we have for clothes. Ooh, we can get some military gloves or a padded hood, I meant. Well, yeah, let's do it. No, no, I have the mining helmet. Dang it! That was a waste. That was that was dumb double D. Uh, what do we got for clothes? All right, what do you got for jobs? Another fetch quest. Uh, that's pretty far away. Should we clear out some zombies? Yeah, let's clear zombies. God bless you. Oh, and it's at the jailhouse again, and that had some amazing loot. If it's the same, I assume it's the same jailhouse. Oh, so. Once we hit that rally point, it should automatically restock the loot pile, so it totally worked out well that we went in there. Oh wait. Nope, different jailhouse, my bad. I'm pretty sure the one we were in was over there. We'll try to do this with uh, our baseball bat and fire axe and rifle exclusively. The less ammo we use, the better. Ooh, what's in the stuffle bag? Oh, heck yeah, we got some painkillers and some more murky water. Uh, is this where we enter? No. Oh, this isn't even the right building. <laughs> Alright. I guess we probably should have cleared it first, get double loot, but that's alright. Oh, I already see a fire zombie. Pretty sure that's a fire zombie. No. But there's a lot of fire pi like piles in here, so I'm sure there's gonna be at least one fire zombie. It's too quiet, this is creepy. Let's get the copper boys and gals. Heck yes. Alright. Where are all these zombies? Uh. Like, there should be a zombie, right? There's no zombies in here. How am I supposed to clear an area that doesn't have anything to clear? Oh, hardcore parkour. Maybe. I saw a zombie off in the distance. Maybe if I can... I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's literally nothing in here to... <gasps> throw it, throw it, throw it! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay. Maybe if I lure these zombies over here to kill, that will instigate something. Otherwise, we might have to just cancel this quest. Oh, oh, I hear stuff. And that might just be the one that I just killed, actually. Oh, and I see a little crawler. Is there anything out here? No. What was I supposed to kill? Let's see. Oh, no. Ah, still killed him. Uh, let's see. don't know what to do. This is so weird. Uh, where'd that doctor go? Okay. Boom. An infected surgeon, so I think that means he can spit poison goo at me? So we're gonna want to get him down right away. Heck yeah. I'm still being told to clear the area, so I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, jeez. <gasps> what are you? Uh, okay. I left the area. Oh, no, I just failed the mission because I ran out of here. I didn't know what this chainsaw wielder was. A psycho? Oh, he has so much health. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, jeez, he's so fast. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, who's hitting me now? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh 
pipe bombs, man. That's where it's at. No, it's not. It's not where it's at. Run! <laughs> Heck yeah. We should definitely go bash some skulls now. Boom. Oh, you're so fast! Did any of you drop loot? You did not. Let's get this little crawler guy. Okay. That's a bummer. We failed the quest because we... We got scared and ran out of there, but the quest was bugged anyways. That was so weird. Let us go get our repair kit, repair this shotgun, and we'll try a different quest. Man, that was a bummer. Uh, let's see. We'll get some wood. Let's see. Where's all that cotton I just got? Uh, well, actually, instead of loading up our inventory, we should probably drop stuff off. What, is that a woodcutter mod? A semi-automatic mod for the trigger. We don't have anything that will go on, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Does this give me health pack? Oh, heck yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Uh, let's eat. Uh, let's grab a bottle of water. We could use some water. I don't know. Can, how do I drink water? Does it have to... Is it like rust? Or can I just use... Yeah, buddy. Nice. Oh, okay. And that gives us a... Empty water jar. I wonder if we can refill those in like... Oh, maybe in that little pool at the trader. That'd be cool. Uh, we'll keep that... I think we're going to leave gunpowder stockpiling because we're going to need to make ammo soon. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I know we need to get a couple of workstations. That's right. The whole reason we came here was to get this so that we could repair this. That might have been a waste. We shall see. All right. Hoorah. We are looking great. We are doing super well on health, food, and water. But we are failing in basic survival. Sorry, Joel, I ballsed up that last mission. It was super embarrassing, but I kind of blame you for sending me to a house that was already uh, demolished. I'll do the fetch quest this time. Brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends. Ooh, heck yeah, we just became friends with Joel. I'm always down to be friends with new people. Uh, let's see, I have $196, not enough for anything else, I don't think. Um, ooh. Let's buy a candle. Oh wait, no, I think light will attract zombies to our house. So that's not a good thing. Let's just go ahead and go do this fetch quest. And we'll figure everything else out later. We're going to have to really start thinking about what we're going to do for the Blood Moon. Probably just die and cry a lot, to be honest. But we have a few days yet to start stockpiling and really reinforce our base. Maybe we can make one of those... Ah, no, I don't like people I always see playing Seven Days to Die, they'll make a Blood Moon base where it's like abusing the mechanics of the zombies AI or whatever. That's not fun. I think I can break these open and get honey. Of course my camera's blocking my view. <laughs> I did not get any honey. Ooh. I see a big pop-up police officer, but he doesn't see me. I should probably sneak my way on past him. Okay, this building looks a lot more intact, so hopefully we won't have that weird bug where no zombies appear inside of the building. Unless I was missing something, which is very likely because I am an idiot sometimes. Oh, he burped at me. He burped at me. It's locked. Oh, jeez. What in the world? What in the world is happening right now? Okay. 
There's got to be a different way into the building. We did just repair a shotgun, though, so if we have to go crazy with shotgun shells, that's okay. This looks like it'll have some pretty good loot inside. I really have to break down that door to get in, don't I? All right. Let's do some pipe bombs. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, jeez. I'm going to fail this quest if I get too far away again, but why are there so many zombies? Oh, jeez. All right. All right. I'm bleeding out. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Sprint away, double D. Sprint away. Use your bandages. What are you doing, you idiot? <sighs> jeez, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... We are going to have to really do some grinding, I think, before we start doing some missions. Let's just sneak into... Oh, man. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Uh, that did nothing to heal me. Um, 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 I think we're just going to have to kill ourselves. Oh, what's in here? Some glue and iron. Oh, some barrels. Maybe we can get lucky and buy some more medicine from them. If we can get some stuff. Both these empty? Nope. Anything else? Anything good? Dude, this is so creepy. This game is so fun. <laughs> Let's go dismember this car, actually. We got this wrench, and that'll help us make some extra money. I think engines sell for quite a bit. Oh, and the loot might be really good in this. What do we got? Oh, we got a bow. I should definitely be using a bow more often. They're quiet. And that could help us a lot with just picking off like one or two of those wandering zombies without drawing the attention of others. Oh, but we have to go get a bunch of feathers from these nests. Dang, yeah, we got so many good things for dismembering that car, or taking apart that car. Uh, I'm going to quick do run some runarounds and look for bird nests so that we can get some feathers. Hopefully not run into too many zombies. I see a biker that's trying to come over this way. <gasps> I guess he already saw me. The chosen one. Oh, what the? Oh, I'm so. <laughs> I thought I just did like 100 points of damage to me, but I was at 17 health and I one shotted him, so no worries there. <gasps> puppers! Oh, I'm dead. I don't think I can outrun a puppers. <sighs> I know I saw a nest over here earlier that I've been ignoring. Yeah, right here. And, of course, we didn't get feathers. Oh, but we got some pistol ammo. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could get, get ammo in bird's nest. We'll have to keep more of an eye open then and check those more often. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're so cute. Are you peaceful? Heck yeah. You're definitely welcome in my neck of the woods. I can't believe I almost hit him. That would have been so sad. I don't want to get too crazy far away from my spawn point, because I am, like, one sneeze away from being killed. You know what? It's super cheap, but I think I might just have to kill myself. Maybe not? What has this got? Uh, more pistol ammo, but I don't have a pistol. Maybe Miner wasn't the way to go, getting that shotgun as our starting weapon. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Joel's offering for healing ourselves up. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Am I? I feel like a failure today, Joel. I have failed you. I am so embarrassed. I was all pumped to get over there. Oh, that's right. We just remembered a car, so this should be a really good payday. Uh, we got $44 there for mechanical parts. We've got 25 for that. Uh, brass radiator, radiator, we get 40 Oil, we get 
forty dollars for that. Uh, not actually, we didn't get as much money as I thought we were gonna get. I guess if we would have got a battery or an engine, that would have been pretty decent. Uh, we should save any pistol ammo or just any ammo we get. Um, do you buy bees? We do buy bees for 15. Nice. Uh, 400. Let's see. Painkillers are 240. So we can at least get a little bit of health. Do you have any other meds like in your secret stash? You don't. Grab. All right, so that should put us up to about 50 health. We are not getting much done today, survivors and creamers. I think since we are struggling with getting hit so hard, we should definitely spend the rest of the day looking at what we can craft for like armor and stuff and oh actually you know what we should do we should be leveling up so that we can get some more status points and we should be checking mailboxes oh man i'm forgetting all the basics of seven days to die right now How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a great day. It's been a great, beautiful week here in Minnesota. It's finally starting to feel a little bit like spring. I thought I heard footsteps. Those are my footsteps. I guess we'll get this tree and then we shall head on over to our base for the night hunker down and we'll see about crafting a bunch of stuff and seeing if we can't figure out how to purify some water cook some meat maybe craft a few, few pieces of armor that we don't have Ooh, another bird's nest Ooh, and we got some feathers so we can craft a couple of arrows Heck yeah. Still no feathers though. What's going on? Alright. Nice, there's no zombies outside my house this time, so maybe we can just creep on in here without any issues tonight. Alright, let's just get anything that's resourcey. And we'll see what kind of stuff we can craft today. So first we'll go into tools. We can buy uh, we can make Nothing. Oh no, I thought we were able to make an iron sledgehammer. Maybe that's under weapons? Nope. Um, should we? Nah, let's save all of our iron and stuff. Let's just go with some basic stone arrows. And, alright. What do we got for building? We can make a campfire. I think that'll help us cook our meat. Let's see, how do I... we go to resources and that's how we make cloth fragments. We can make 23 cloth fragments, nice. That'll be at least 10 bandages. Uh, we can make cobblestone rocks. Not sure what those do. Oh yeah, those are used to upgrade our base. Um, let's see. Where did that campfire go. There it is. Let's see, we'll put a campfire there. Uh, oh, we need a cooking pot, I'm pretty sure, before we're going to be able to start. Oh wait, didn't we find a cooking pot? I'm pretty sure we found a cooking pot yesterday. Uh, did we lose it? Or did we sell it? We probably sold it. Double D, you idiot. We'll have to keep an eye open for that. And we do have some more money. Um, I'm going to want to get a little sniper perch going. So I think I'm going to make some more of these. Well, actually, no, we'll save that and we'll just make some frame shapes because it's just going to be for me. It doesn't need to be super powerful. 
or super strong. Let's see, we'll go boom, boom, boom. Cut this down, and we'll just chop down this one. And then we should be able to make our, like that should be our little hideout. Heck yeah! Let's see, we could do that and that so that those vultures don't come get us. And now we have a nice little spot where we can check out this side of our base. Still nothing in that weapons bag. And if we want to like get onto the roof or anything, we just pick that up. And then we can just hang out on our roof, which is awesome. So that'll be cool. Put that back up. And I don't think vultures will like fly in here and stuff unless like they make eye contact with me. I might be wrong on that. I'm sure I'll be in for a rude awakening. Uh, let's see our bow we got. Nice. Um, oh, that's right. We were going to make a couple more of those uh, wood spike traps. Those were under home, right? Or those were under weapons. Uh, those were not under weapons. Tools? Yeah, buddy. Uh, wood spikes trap. That's what I'm looking for. I think we only need like 15. That should get us surrounded all right let's go outside real quick oh we should make a better door well i guess actually we're pretty safe uh, we'll do that that break you put you there like that put you there like that put you there like that Heck yeah, so we are looking good. Let's see. Is there anything else that's looking a little sketch? No, I think we're looking pretty good actually. Maybe one right here. Yeah. Just because if they break out one block, I don't want them all to fall, you know? We learned that the hard way yesterday, too. Not yesterday, the, like last week. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the 7 Days to Die playthrough, or uh, if you want me to play something else. I am still willing to play Xenoblade Chronicles 3, it just didn't really seem like a lot of people were too into that. Um, but if you'd like to, me to continue that also, let me know. Totally willing to do that. I had recorded part 5, but realized that I never switched from my face cam to the like gameplay after doing my intro so the whole hour of gameplay was just my ugly face so <laughs> that was awkward i think there's not a whole lot else we can do crafting wise uh and it's getting late but i think we should think about maybe trying to go explore for some loot still we have 76 shotgun shells. Although we need to start doing some missions, so maybe we'll leave our shotgun and our rifle here. Ah, no, if crap hits the fan, I'm gonna want this stuff. All right, we'll just try to do a neighboring house real quick. Um, I don't think we've done that was the first mission we did, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've gone in here yet. And it looks like there's a balcony out back with the staircase. Heck yeah. Is there a back door that I can sneak in? There is, but we have to break down the traps first. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. What about going up this way? In through that window, we can make a couple of frame shapes and get up there. Otherwise, the front door is open. Ooh, an infected skater punk. He's a little bit tough. <gasps> Stamina! Bop him! Bop him! 
Just one bop. That's all he needs. He just needs one bop. Oh. Duh. <laughs> okay. Nice. Are those the only two zombies in here? That would be amazing. Alright. There is a hole upstairs yet, so I don't think we're that lucky. And there's no books in these bookshelves? Bummer. Books are really helpful. Because they will give us... Like, they can increase our stats and damage output and all that good stuff. So we want to keep our eyes out for books. A destroyed workbench. Some brass. Is that just normal brass? Yeah, okay. Um, let's get this. Copper. All the copper. Just give me all the copper. Uh, is there one in there? Nope. <gasps> I missed! Oh, nice. I think that was just the three zombies. Oh, no. Oh, I guess we don't need a wrench, so that's not a big deal. What is this? Steel armor parts? Ooh. What does that do? Scrap advanced armor, tools, and weapons to acquire these. Use them to craft new items. Okay. I cannot craft anything, I don't think, with those yet, but those might be able to sell for a lot. Would be real bummed when this just goes out onto the deck and there's nothing else to loot. <laughs> It definitely seems like it goes into a different room, though. Ah, ah, run! How much damage did that do? Anything? That did nothing. Okay, so those are only good for zombies. Oh, or did it weaken it? Because that's going a lot faster. zombie. Good, there is some loot in here, so... Oh, nice! What does this do? Perception. I don't know what that does. That might not be that cool. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, purse pistol? Oh, lockpicks! <gasps> we might be able to pick that lock at Joel's. Anything out on the deck? Another barrel? Oh, and I see a ladder next to me. Is there an attic with more loot? Ooh, okay. <gasps> Hi. <gasps> my stamina, man. I'm so bad at remembering my stamina. Oh, and there's another one? Alright, you're gonna get blasted with the shotgun. Alright, let's loot all of this resources. Cement? Heck yeah, cement's gonna be amazing for upgrading our base. The more free versions, or like free cement we can get, the better. That'll help us like reinforce our foundations real nice. Paper and polymer. Oh, there. Oh, we got a pistol! Nice! Oh, and some shotgun. And we got a med kit. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We're doing so good, creamers. I'm so glad we just did some looting today. And it is getting dark, so we're going to want to get home pretty quick before zombies start wandering the streets. We're going to have to break these crates first. What is this? Motor tool parts? Heck yeah. Those sound like those will sell pretty nicely. I thought I was going to one-shot the box out of so Ooh, okay, what do we got here? We can make a Pix Bench schematic. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. The quality of the blah 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 blah. Some items are crafted with parts and scrap to... Oh, okay, so this is how we can make, like, shotguns and stuff. And then we have a workbench schematic. So, the heck yeah. Oh, that's beautiful! We should be able to craft those up at some point. Uh, we don't have a lot of room in our base, so so we're going to have to think about moving soon. 
I don't think there's anything else that, up here, right? To loot? Yeah, nothing else. So, we will just sneak on down out the back. Okay, good. I'm always worried that I'm going to break an ankle when I do that. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Let us eat some of our beef rations. We did not find a cooking pot. Uh, health to zero percent. Okay, good. So we can eat some of these eggs. Oh, and we can eat these bees, but we lose 30 health. Oh, that's not worth it. That is not worth it. What is this? Not worth it. Not worth it. Um... I guess we'll eat one more beef ration, get us through the night. We're really going to have to figure out this food thing tomorrow. Minus 50 health if we eat that. Eggs? Were we losing health? No, we were gaining health for eating eggs, so... We'll eat a couple more of these eggs, just to make sure we're looking good. Oh, we need some water also. Uh, we'll drink one of these. This gives me 60 water and stamina regen and efficient digestion. Oh, nice! So that'll help us digest our food a little bit better, it sounds like. Which means I should be able to... Oh. It looked like for a hot second it was going to help me eat that chicken, but I'm not going to risk it now. Um, ooh. Raw meat will is an option if we're, like, desperate. So, we should be good to last it through the night. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Sorry we didn't get any missions done, but I hope it was still enjoyable and fun. I had a lot of fun. I'm super excited to yee-yee all over the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Later!